guys, today I'm going to be doing a haul which is for The Ordinary Company. Is it called The Ordinary Company or is it just called The Ordinary? You know, The Ordinary like skincare and stuff, that company. Do you know what it is? I think it's Canadian. Anyway, I've got the box here. Um, I haven't opened it yet. I hope you can't see my address. <laughs> yeah, so I ordered some stuff from The Ordinary. It took about a week and a half to get here. Um, I think they've got quite a big influx of orders or something, so um, it took a little bit of a longer time to get here. Um, I got no customs charge, so I'm guessing that they stock in the UK. I have no idea actually. Um, I wanted to try some of their skincare for a while, but I was always a bit too scared to because it's like all about acids and like they don't have, obviously most moisturisers and skincare have acids in them, but they never like the name of the product, you know what I mean? I saw Patricia Bright did a video where she used one of their foundations and it looked really nice, so I wanted to try it. I spent... how much did I spend? I think I spent £30. So I'm guessing... I have I did some research and I looked up on what the best um, items that they sell were. I really wanted to try their uh, primer as well, which think I got. So let's start with the first thing that we have. So the first thing is the primer. High adhesive silicon primer. Um, let's see what it says in the box. High adherence silicone primer is a high adhesive blurring surface smoother and primer. Ooh, okay that sounds good. Let me have a look at the bottle. Quite small actually. How many mils is this? 30 mils. That's tiny. I thought they were loads bigger. That's actually very small. <laughs> I didn't realise how small it was going to be. I look forward to using that. Apparently that's really good. Today I'm going to be testing out the primer. So this is a silicone based primer. It's called the High Adhesive Silicone Primer. Um, in the past when I've used silicone primers I haven't liked them. But... I heard such good reviews on this one, so I thought I should give it a try. It's a high adherence blurring surface smoother and primer. So I think you can use it just on its own and not as a primer. I'm going to mix it in first and then I'm just going to press it in because I feel like to really um, fill in your pores you need to sort of press it in. It was really thick when it comes out the bottle like super thick you see that and then when you mix it into your skin it becomes really thin that's so strange well as for the primer um let's see if you can see you can see my pores still um let me have a look in the mirror they're not too bad though, they're not, they're not as bad as they, mm, no, you can still see them. But if I zoom you in here, you can see my pores here. So, it hasn't filled in my pores, which is a bit disappointing, but we'll see how it goes throughout the day, if it actually like holds my makeup on better than a different primer so we'll see right next thing so next this is the right i'm gonna butcher all the names of these because they are complicated um a salis salix i can't say it two percent solution for blemish prone skin okay Use in the AM and PM, apply a small dot directly on spots for visible improvement or apply a small amount over the face to maintain visible clarity with continued use. Avoid the eye contour and contact with the eyes, do not rinse off, continue with additional skin treatments as needed. Okay, so this is for spots basically. If you have spot prone skin then you'd want to use this. Cool. How do you pronounce that? Um, I'm going to put that on. It's said to, this is a small bottle because I think you put it on like individual spots. So I might put this all over my face just to test it out. 
So it says I need a little bit, so I'm going to put literally a few drops on my finger. It feels like really slippery, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Okay, one drop wasn't enough. It says to avoid um, getting it anywhere near your eyes, so careful of that. And then we've got another one. Okay, this is the last one. We have 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. This support formula for all skin types. Right, I've heard that rose hip oil is a really good for your skin. I think Zendaya tweeted about it actually, and that's why I may have gotten it. What, apply once a day to the face, ideally at bedtime after application of water face treatments. Woo -hoo -hoo. Supports healthy skin. I'm really, really looking forward to trying this because if Zendaya says it's good, it's probably going to be good. It has a slight smell. But like, nothing offensive. <laughs> and it's bright yellow. This is one of the bigger containers that I got. It feels really soft on my skin. It literally just feels like oil, to be honest with you. I think this is probably best to do just before you go to bed because it is quite oily and you probably want it to sink in a bit. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. The rosehip oil is supposed to help from spots to wrinkles and discoloration. Um, it also can help with skin tone, texture and pigmentation. So... All the good stuff. Last night I used the organic rose hip oil. It's all sunk into my skin. My skin feels not that different, but I'm pretty sure that's normal because I've only used it once. But I'm gonna still keep using this before I go to bed. I think that's a good time to use it. As I said, it's very oily, so you wouldn't wanna have that through the day. Okay, next thing is the 100% plant-derived squalane. I don't know how to pronounce any of this. Okay, this is a, a lightweight plant-derived solution to support, support healthy hydration. Apply a few drops daily as it is needed the entire face, ideally after water face treatments. Okay, so this is for like moisturizing, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna try the 100% plant-derived squalane. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, this is just another sort of hydration moisturizing thing use a bit of this which is clear uh, i'm just gonna oh this is a bit more watery feels oily so i'm not sure if this is a good idea to use in the morning but we'll see i'm gonna let it sink into my skin and i'll let you know what i think Okay, this one is niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. High strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. Oh, is this for spots as well? Applies the entire face morning and evening before heavier creams. Okay, is this, I'm guessing this is for spots. I'm going to have to figure out if I can use all of these at the same time as in my skincare routine. Or like mix and match them. Cool. Hi. Hi guys. Um... I've got wet hair. Uh, I'm just gonna try out another one of the ordinary thingies. This one, it says to put on your skin. Apply to entire face morning and evening before heavier creams. So I'm guessing it's for spots. So I don't have any like, I have this one. These are just scars, oh, that one's underneath. Oh, but, and that one, <laughs> okay, anyway. So I'm going to try this out. It looks really sick in the thingy. I'm just going to pour it on like this. Not get it in my hair. It's really like gloopy. Ooh. It feels like water. But it was really gloopy in the bowl. I put far too much on. Hmm. It doesn't have a smell. It feels quite nice on my skin. It feels very 
hydrating even though I don't think that's what it's for it's for spots I think so oh it's quite sticky <laughs> um oh okay I'll see if this makes like any of my spots are sprouting sort of disappear because I think that's sort of what it's for I'm not sure I'll let you know anyway I've had that um niacinamide and zinc on for a minute and it feels like my face is really tight it doesn't feel hydrating anymore <laughs> it feels really tight I don't know what that means but maybe you're supposed to dry your spots out maybe this is gonna like dry my skin out I don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see okay and the last thing which I'm the most looking forward to is the foundation this is the coverage foundation, high coverage foundation formula. I got it in 1.1 neutral because that was the, they had swatches on the website and that was the one that looked most like my skin. I hope I am right. I thought the packaging so freaking cute too. That's so cute, isn't it? Right, let's swatch this. I really hope this is the right colour. Okay, this looks okay. Okay, good hear my cat crying this looks good oh it's quite thick but it's not actually no it's not that thick for a high coverage foundation I would have thought it'd be thicker than that hmm it's quite yellow though might be a bit too yellow for me what do you think I don't know I think it'd be all right now let's open the coverage foundation it says shake well so I'm gonna shake it a high coverage creamy foundation that softens undesirable hues okay we'll see if it covers up the redness around my um nose because that's where i have a problem right so i've mixed it up i'm gonna put it on the back of my hand i'll do one pump and see how far that gets me it's very soft I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge, which I've just washed and dampened. Um, and see how this goes. Okay, this looks pretty nice, but I don't think it's full coverage at all. Because as you can see, I have marks from old spots and they are very visible. So I think it's because I've used a really, like this is wet, like I did drain it out but it's still kind of wet so I think that's why it's not as full coverage as it says it is. So I'm just going to do one more pump all over the face just to sort of counteract putting this on with a damp sponge. Okay, this is a perfect colour for my, well, it's a tiny bit yellow for my skin, but I think I should just, I have almost green skin, <laughs> but it's a pretty good um, colour match. You can, if I just move the camera a little bit over, it's not again full coverage because you can see all my scars from spots you can see my freckles this is two layers and that's using a real technique sponge which is damp you'd probably get a more full coverage with a with a um brush but i don't really like using a brush for my foundation because it looks streaky in my opinion but Instead, I think this foundation looks like healthy skin. Do you know what I mean? Like, it makes me look like I've got healthy skin. Like, there's a natural highlight going on there. I look a bit shiny, but like, in a nice healthy way. On the camera, I look a lot whiter than I do in real life, but... I like the foundation. It's covered up my redness around my nose. But it makes me look really healthy. So I'm happy about that 
Um, I'm going to finish my makeup and then come back and tell you what I think. Let's have a look at the foundation. I have a problem with foundation settling on my nose really weirdly and it hasn't happened with this foundation. Like it normally happens with every foundation and it hasn't with this one. Like I have texture, you can see, like, I have hair on my nose that you can see but it hasn't gone all strange which I'm really happy about. I have issues around my nose which isn't the, f the foundation's fault but it is settling in them not as badly as other foundations normally do so I'm happy with that. I'll let you know how it wears. Bye. Okay, so it's been about three or four hours since I put the foundation on. And in that time, I've been busy, I've been running about, I've been getting sweaty. Like, it's been pushed to the limit. You can see the indent. You can see the indent where my glasses sit, but like, that happens all the time with foundation, to be honest with you. Uh, it started to break up a little bit around my nose but that normally happens and it's sort of looking a bit funky on my nose but again that always happens um my skin looks nice though like it hasn't come off any like i was sweating on my forehead and it's not come off on my forehead it hasn't come off where i've been like leaning my hand like this so i'm pretty impressed with it Pretty cheap as well, so like compared to oh, I've got a lipstick on me here. Compared to more expensive foundations, I'm really pleased with it. Hi guys, so to round up this video because I know it's been like dragging on. So I would recommend the 100% rosehip oil instead of the 100% plant derived squalane just because I think the rosehip oil made my face more moisturised than the squalane did or however you say it. I was going to buy one of the two because they basically are made to do the same thing. I'd get the rosehip oil one. Two. Comparison between the niacinamide and the, what's it called? Let me go and get it. Somehow I've managed to lose one of the products I got, so <sighs> I don't know how I lost it. Anyway, that one, I'll put the name somewhere, I would not recommend. It does the same as the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%, it's like a spot treatment sort of dealio. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that one. I don't need that one because I have this one, which is the niacinamide one, which I do recommend. I think it did help me with my spots. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a nice product and I do recommend that. So I recommend the niacinamide, niacinamide, I don't know how to say it, and the 100% rosehip oil. Those two I would buy again foundation so so nice i got mine in 1.1 neutral i think um the color match is pretty good it's quite yellow but i think it actually matches my skin pretty well it's a nice it makes your skin look healthy it does it's not full coverage for some reason does it say that yeah it says high coverage i don't think it's high coverage at all i think it's more of like a natural looking foundation and I really recommend this. It's super cheap. It makes your skin look really healthy and like fresh. So yeah, and it layers pretty well. So you probably could layer it to be a high coverage, but I don't know, that's not really the look I'm going for. So yeah, I recommend that highly. The primer, which is covered in an eyeshadow that exploded, is the High Adherence Silicone Primer. This is a good primer, it's not the best primer, it's very silicone-y. I said in a clip before that it didn't smell of anything, but it definitely does smell of something. I think it smells like acrylic paint. I don't know if there's silicone in acrylic paint, or, and that's what I'm smelling, I'm not sure, but it does definitely have a smell and it's a bit off-putting. But it's a good primer, would I buy it again? Probably yes because of how cheap it is, but not because it's an amazing primer, it's just a good primer. So yeah. I'm sorry if the clips are all over the place, um, I really hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it was helpful for you in buying anything from the ordinary company. I really recommend the things I did say were good, 
Um, yeah, I guess that's the end of my video. Back to Alice. <laughs> So I guess that's the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see this face, then hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye.